Modern vacuum cleaners and parts removal. William Hovey Smith, 2018. I'm the author of Backyard Deer Hunting, and in this video we discuss modern vacuum cleaners, and also, after one wears out, how you salvage metal parts. A vacuum cleaner can last you 20 years. Huh. Well, uh, these modern ones are very convenient. They're lighter weight than ever before. They are more powerful, but if you get two years out of one, in normal household use, you're doing pretty good. Well, this is a Hoover. Uh, it comes pre-assembled, mostly, and we have already used it. And yes, it has picked up some good stuff down here. Uh, we have some silt, uh, we have dog hairs, I have hound doggies, so it got those pretty good. It pushes well, and it cleans well, and we'll actually show you doing a little vacuuming. Like the previous one, it has a removable container here for your silt and dog hair and whatever dust and whatever it picks up. It also has a couple of good filter mechanisms. Now this one uses a lot of transparent plastic, as is very common these days. It has a smaller footprint brush, and we're going to fire it up here. These contents are swirling around. Now another thing new about this is that this handle will actually twist, as you can see. To help you get on the beds and things of that nature. When you pull it back upright, the brush is stopped. And it also has a hose that you can detach and put accessories on for doing the walls and baseboards. Emptying this style of vacuum cleaner is best done on a linoleum floor. Uh, they have a release back here. And you push forward and this releases your canister and all of its collected stuff. Then the release button here, where you can drop the base, and everything you've collected falls out. You reattach it, index it back in its place. Line it up here and push in until it snaps and you'll reconnect it again. So that's pretty simple and you don't have to worry about buying bags. It picked up that dust and also some silt here from the edge of this rug. So now, we just have to finish vacuuming the rest of the house. Our vacuum cleaner has been emptied and has cleaned one room again. This room gets a maximum traffic of any room in the house outside of the kitchen, which has a linoleum floor. And it has pulled out almost as much material as I emptied from it before. So it is going down in there and pulling stuff out of this carpet that's been there for a long time that the other vacuum was just not touching. It is a little more difficult to push, uh, particularly when you have it on. Uh, the suction is obviously more powerful. And uh, yeah, it's doing what a vacuum cleaner is supposed to do, guys. 
Uh, so far as its effectiveness goes, it's doing good. It's a little more difficult to operate. And the unit itself is perhaps two pounds heavier. But all told, it's doing good. We're in the process of taking our old vacuum cleaner apart. And what we're going to do is ultimately salvage the electric engine. The one you see on the ground beside the vacuum cleaner is an electric engine, but not from that vacuum cleaner. But nonetheless, we're going to extract it. It's completely surrounded by plastic. So we're going to take the expedient of throwing it on the burn pile and recovering it after the plastic parts have been burned away. And here we have the final analysis essence of vacuum cleaner. That's all the salvageable parts. That's all I need to keep, except a few things that uh, are transferable from one vacuum cleaner to another. We have completed our salvage of the components from our vacuum cleaner. Right here. Now this is an end you can get at any hardware store. And what you do is you strip these down to wires. There are two of them. This is a dual conductor cable. And there are two screws, one on either side, that you unscrew. You wrap the bare wires around this. You cinch it tight. Then you push these two components together like that. And you plug in whatever it is you want to put power to. And behold, guess what? It works. So we now have a very good medium duty extension cord. This is not something that's suitable for running heavy power tools, but it is suitable for light to medium duty work. But now, this is Hobie Smith. Reminding you to hunt what you eat and eat what you hunt. Be legal, be ethical, be safe, goodbye, God bless, and see you next time. In addition to my outdoor books, such as Backyard Deer Hunting, Crossbow Hunting, and Extreme Muzzle Loading, I have a new business book, Create Your Own Job Security. Plan to start your own business at midlife. The thrust of this book is, we live in a very uncertain economy. Uh, this is mostly gig work these days, and you have no job security at all. So what I advocate is throughout your life, you start a whole series of businesses. And this is not very difficult. This includes eBay selling and uh, other things, maybe even lawn mowing. But ultimately, when you're in your middle age years, you have your business already running in the background. So if you get laid off, then you have something to fall back on that you really own. And this book goes through the details of exactly how to do that. I try to make use for whatever I have, including things that no longer work. So the plastic in that old vacuum cleaner went to start a fire to burn my yard waste. And the extension cord I will certainly use. For more information on my books, blogs, and videos, you can go to my website, www.hoviesmith.com. For more information on my book, you can go to the blog below. Good hunting and good eating from the outdoors. Goodbye, and God bless.